Ready? Hi. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Hi. My name is Elizabeth. And I'm Crimson. And welcome to this week's Facebook Live from Deco Art. Um, today we have something really exciting. We're going to talk about one of our fan favorites, one of the best products. Um, well, all of our products are great, but this product is kind of a cult favorite. It's one of our number one sellers from our store online. Um, and we're going to talk to you about why. So um, this is the Satin Enamels. Mm -hmm. It is a DIY paint. And for those of you who've been following us for a while, we, we've started doing these um, Americana Decor DIY focused Facebook Lives once a month because many may not be familiar with our DIY line of paints. We have a lot of DIY paints. We have some of them behind us here um, for all different kinds of purposes. Some are for front doors or shutters. This formula is um, specifically made to dry really quickly. So I want to try that. It's a really, <laughs> I actually painted my front door. Did you? That, yeah, like a turquoise color. Oh, great. And it's, it does exactly what it says. It dries so fast and it has stood the test of time with all the weather and rain and snow and everything. Oh, so, yeah. um, so we have paints like that, but we also have metallics for outdoors, um, primary colors for outdoors, chalky finish, um, matte metallics, color stains. So all different kinds of DIY paints, depending on what kind of look you're going for, mm -hmm. what you're gonna use it for. Um, anyway, so today we're talking about the satin enamels. Yes. And I'm gonna let Crimson jump in and tell us what she's gonna paint for us today. Well, I'm gonna first, I'm gonna show you some um, furniture first, but first I'm gonna brush out the satin enamels on different types of cabinet doors that we found, just to show you all different surfaces and how it um, can be applied to that. So um, we have first a, a door that's unfinished wood and you want to maybe with the unfinished wood like sand lightly in the area first. Uh, this product you don't necessarily have to sand at all or you know prep it at all so that's nice but it does help if it's raw wood it helps with any little pieces that might stick up with that first coat. Um, I have one coat here. And that's without sanding. Yeah, this is without sanding. And you can see it's, it's pretty smooth. And if you really want it to be smooth, you can sand lightly in between coats and it's already smooth. So it's a very minimal amount of sanding. Here's the thing about sanding that I've learned, and I tell me if you agree with this, but yeah. I really do not like sanding. No, I do not enjoy it. it. It's a mess. <laughs> you have to take everything outside. You can never, if you do it inside, there's dust everywhere. But yeah. I've always found that if I do take that extra step to lightly sand, it, it does always stick better, no yeah. matter what paint you're using. Yeah. Um, I actually use this paint to paint the bedroom furniture in my kids' room. Did not sand. Oh, that's my good. kids' room. It's going to get ruined anyway. And it's stuck on pretty well. Yeah. So this is the kind of paint where... You don't have to sand, but if you um, if you want it to be the best of the best, like you should take that extra step and sand, even yeah. if you're like me and you really don't enjoy it. Yeah, this paint is great for high traffic areas like bathrooms and kitchens yes. and obviously kids' rooms and yes. kids' furniture because you can just wipe it off with soap and water. Yep. So you want to use just like a soft brush. Uh, you know, I, I had that. only used this a couple of times, but I'm, it's beautiful. I'm in love with it. That is a beautiful I want to color paint too. All the cabinets. <laughs> it's so beautiful, and that sheen is just so nice. That oh satin. Gosh. There you go. Well, here it's probably a cat hair. <laughs> so it's satin, which means it's, it's between that gloss and, and gloss and kind of matte, yeah. right? Yeah, and it gives that's that durable finish. It's like a hard finish when it dries. So I just love the way that looks. Now with um. With a, this is probably, I don't know, like a MDF. Well, yeah, a kind veneer of, maybe. Yeah, veneer. You know, you do want to, same thing with this. You just want to lightly sand it. Again, you don't have to. But with any smooth surface, I think it's good, like she said, to just give it a quick sanding. Um, while Crimson's painting this little piece, I want to tell everyone about something that just went live at shopdecoart.com not 10 minutes ago is our big, big summer sale Ooh. so we have hundreds of paints that are now on sale while supplies last for the summer it's a lot of different things um some things that were particular colors that we made too much of oh. um some things that for whatever reason we just have an excess of it so it's on sale while supplies last and once we've kind of reached a level where the inventory is not too much anymore it won't be on sale so go check it out shopdecoart.com there are some satin enamel colors that are on sale um along with a lot of other paint. So check it out. That looks so I wanted cute. to kind of show you 
you know, you can use like any kind of brush really, but you want a soft brush, but our uh, Americana Decor brushes are really soft and they give you less of those brush strokes than you would using like a chip brush. But you know, if that's all you have, I think it works just fine. I mean, that looks like a lacquer. It's so stunning. Yeah. There's no brush strokes. That's yeah, I love beautiful. It. And I'll show you on this one. This is, I think, like a painted wood. And that same thing goes for, it's the same deal. Just give it a lot of sanding. Well, this one's pretty dirty. I probably should have washed it first. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, this is what I don't really do either. <laughs> you can pick it up at the restore or the thrift store. That might be what it really looks like. Or yeah. your cabinets might look yeah, like that. I'm that's what I'm going to You know what? With two toddlers running around, my cabinets kind of look like that. So. Oh, yeah. Let's so just pretty. paint over it. It's oh, just so it. buttery. I love it. It looks really good. Yeah, so that, I mean, you can see how fast it would go to cover a whole cabinet. Mm -hmm. I think it would go really fast. And, and so, we have tons of projects on our website yes. right now. People that have used this to paint their cabinets in their kitchen, paint their bathroom vanity, um, do furniture redos, yes. all sorts of things. That's what I'm going to do next. Like this, we have this old painted, I don't know, probably an old project or something. And um, it had this like dark kind of gross finish. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> but you know, I, I had never, this was like the first time I had used this satin paint. And I was like, oh, this is a dark color. I don't know if it's gonna like cover it. Oh, wow. And I just went, I just started painting and this is literally one coat. So wow. I was like, so impressed. Yeah, that's amazing. And then I had just like did these feet with our other Americana decor, the texture and the metallics. So you can add a, a shimmery detail when you're using these paints if you want. You have like um, hardware or something like that. The texture sort of looks like this Americana decor texture paint, like almost gold leaf. Yeah, that's like what I was trying to. I applied it with the um, a palette knife. Mm -hmm. This one is really thick the texture paint so that's beautiful yeah I just applied that with a palette knife and then give it just a just a light sanding when it dried and then I did that metallic over top you wouldn't even really have to put the metallic but I just like to play you around like with all the paints <laughs> yeah hey that's a fun job I think you have the most fun job in the world yeah a lot of people might fun. think that too so on this I mean obviously you can do an the ombre that I did on this side. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn it around. So what I did is I just started with the, the moss green at the bottom. And then I just blended in the, what's the name of this one? Seaside, seaside blue. I love that one. And I'll just show you what I did on this side. And what's nice is you don't have to rinse your brush or anything in between. Just kind of wipe it off. That's what I like about my brush. You don't really have to fuss with it too much. I already had blue on here, so I'm just going to wipe it off. Again, if you're just joining us, Crimson and I are <clears throat> demonstrating one of our fan favorite paints, one of our most popular paints, the Americana Decor Satin Enamels. Um, it's a satin finish paint that's meant for high traffic areas like cabinets or vanities and furniture pieces. It really stands up well. It has a beautiful satin finish, um, excellent coverage. As you can see, I mean, just one coat. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> that's really amazing. And it really, like I just said, it's so buttery. It just like goes on so smoothly. I like that, just buttery. I think there's a butter yellow color. Mm. available. That might be dangerous. <laughs> and again, if you're just joining us, um, we have a big summer sale that just went live about 10 minutes ago. It's at shopdecoart.com and there's hundreds of paints on sale right now while supplies mm. last. Yeah. So go get them. Um, there are some Americana decor satin enamel particular colors on sale um, and it just depends on there were certain colors we made a little bit too much of or we had extra of for some reason. So we are offering those at a very discounted price while supplies last. So it's a great time to stock up on summer paint or yes. for all year long. Oh, absolutely. I love that. 
Yeah, so you see how fast I'm doing this? You could literally paint your whole house mm -hmm. in a day. No, <laughs> so I'd be yeah, exaggerating. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That'd be quite Definitely a makeover DIY of some sort. Yeah, well, this paint, it, you know, again, check out our website because we have so many people that have done their entire kitchen or bathroom vanity. Um, there's a new blog that just went up today that's just about how to paint furniture with this. Oh, wow. um, yeah, by one of our great makers, Thrifty and Chic Decor. Um, so she um, has all the step-by-step -step instructions and her tips and tricks for using this paint too. So be sure to look there on our blog. Um, yeah, she's. Uh, I love before and after pictures. Oh yeah. Of old it furniture. Yeah, it does it. All right, so I'm just wiping in between colors. Um, ombre is just kind of blending colors together. Yeah, like it's just that. blend that middle section where you want it to meet. Now, what would be as I was doing this, I was like, oh, I kind of like how that dark color shows through. And then you could have that different look with it just being like yeah. a jagged. Yeah, that is pretty too. And then add some gold in there. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Look how that blends too. I'm oh, so yeah. good at that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, this easy. makes it easy. <laughs> this paint is very blendable. And I just love how you contrasted it with this super metallic, glossy sort of yeah, bright gold that. at the bottom um, with your legs. I love the metallics. They're they're just so shimmery. Very elegant. Yeah, I love it. Elegant like you, Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Good one. <laughs> you know, it's fun because all of our DIY paints we have we really have a lot of different styles for almost anything you could think of. The satin, the chalky finish, mm -hmm. outdoor paints, outdoor metallic paints, color stains, vintage kind of wash for wood, vintage kinds, looks. Yeah. So make sure to check out all those. But um, but this one is, is one of the fan favorites. I think it's just such a great all around satin paint, perfect for just your everyday recycle, upcycle projects. Yes. Or again, even bigger things. Well, I might be overworking it now, but you saw that it was mm -hmm. just so easy. Mm -hmm. Doing this at a weird angle, but <laughs> I hope you guess. guys can see how amazing that is. That one, I mean, that's one coat. Yes. That's great. And you can absolutely, once it dries, you can go back over it and do any touch-ups if you feel like you left a brush stroke you didn't like or mm -hmm. something like that. So. Yeah, one of the tips I've read is too is if you know you do see some brush strokes that you aren't happy with, you can let it dry, sand it, and just paint right over that and get yeah. a smoother finish. Yeah. And I've found that I mean, if you let it dry a little bit, you could just probably just go back over with your brush and mm -hmm. then probably just flatten some out a little. Mm -hmm. But I, I think this is um, this paint is pretty. Oh no! <laughs> Self leveling. <laughs> So that's nice. Yeah. So what does that mean, self-leveling? Like how, how does that compare to, um, like, <laughs> we're losing bottles? Well, you know, it kind of smooths out as it dries. You know, if you do have a little bit of brush strokes, then they'll just level out as uh, they dry. So I, I really like this, this paint, that it does that. And a lot of our paints do. Yeah. So when a paint does it, have you worked with a paint before where it doesn't do that? And is it just, like, a more... Um, Kind of a cheaper paint, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. And then you, really you have to DIY. have more layers, or you know, maybe fuss with the brushes or how you apply it and stuff. So this is, I think, this paint for sure is definitely foolproof. Yeah. Well, that's something that's hard, you know, for someone like me who doesn't paint as much. Like, mm -hmm. how do you choose? You know, what yeah. is really the difference between this DIY paint and a craft paint, or even you know, a fine art paint like? this one self levels more it's meant for that really yeah. smooth lacquer like finish well i think for sure this one would be like the durability yeah because yes. for a diy you want a paint that's not just gonna scratch off or, yeah um, yeah and this is made for those like i said high traffic areas like the kitchen like your kitchen cabinets and mm -hmm. the bathroom um mm -hmm. like she said with her kids furniture that you're gonna want to you know mm -hmm. scrub down with soap and water yeah yeah. And it's, scrub it's down, scrub. throw it away when they turn 18. <laughs> um, the other thing I love about, like, I painted my kids' bedroom furniture with the navy color of this, is that I have the little jar, uh -huh. and it gets chipped all the time because they're yeah. throwing things around, and I just whip out my paintbrush and 
do do it's all fixed up and yeah. it's just so easy um so i love that beautiful yeah that that's sometimes tricky like if you have a color and mm -hmm. well, especially you know, if you mix a big well that's so i've paint. used you know i've used some like some of the big brand home paints mm -hmm. before and it's like you just need a little bit and you have to buy a gallon yeah, exactly. to color match it and it's so front you know and that can be 50 to 60 dollars and that's really frustrating when you just need a little bit for touch-ups yeah so it's nice to have a little jar available for these at-home projects that you don't need to spend that much money every time you need more absolutely i really love that yeah yeah i i mean i like i said I kind of like that look too, especially mm -hmm. with these gold. I might go in. Yeah, that's uh, a great idea. I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a small. Yeah, maybe I have a small brush. I'll just show you what I would do. So I'm gonna take. Obviously, I let it dry, but like if I were gonna leave it like that, and maybe just go back in with some gold. That looks so cool. So that would just give you an extra, like, I don't know, Possess. artistic, yeah, like I a little. I love that. That really changes the tone. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, I it's fun to play with different the paints and just get different ideas from I the I want to show everyone doing. how thick this is. This is the yeah. texture. It's called texture Well, paint. I think that's the metallic. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, no, the, yeah. <laughs> this is the other one that so I love. thick. This is like a thick, I mean, thick texture paint. It's really great for palette knife painting, or you can add like a gold leaf look. Yeah, I don't have a top back, but I can show you that. Wow. Yeah. It's really fun to work with, especially when you're doing those impasto type of mm -hmm. thick painting techniques and textures on furniture. And Beautiful. Well, now I have a little area that's not, uh, <laughs> doesn't match. One of these things is not on the other, but that's <laughs> It's okay. That's fine. So then, you know, I'd probably do the same thing with the drawers. And I like to, before I start painting, I would, I didn't do it with this one, but I like to plan how I want it to look. Yep. But. Mainly, I wanted to show you all just how amazing it is to brush out. I just love it so much. Yeah. And normally, would you take the hardware off, or does that? I well, see that there's no way to get this one yeah, off. Yeah, this one, you couldn't take it off. Yeah. But, I mean, it obviously, it makes it easier yeah. to take it off. But, you know, I just masked it. If you can see there, this other one. I just masked around it. And um, a tip with these metallics, too, for your first layer. If you dip in your metallics and just kind of dip in with a makeup sponge, it gives you that first coat, and then you won't have those brush strokes with that first coat. So then nice. after that, you can go back in nice. with your brush. That's a yeah. great tip. That's fabulous. But I'd, obviously, I don't know if I need to show you all that, but see. Yeah. I could retape this, but I think I'll probably just not. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. You could take a smaller brush and get in those areas first if you wanted to. I just can't get over how well it covers. I know. I was very pleasantly surprised when I started <laughs> doing this. On yeah, because you this said this was color. the first time you used it. Yeah. When I started on this navy blue, I was like, ooh, I don't know, I'm going to have to do a couple mm -hmm. of coats, and nope. Yeah, no base coat needed. Yeah, I love it. I mean, really, the only thing I did to this was wipe it with a wet rag because it was really test. dirty, but yeah. <laughs> That's a great tip to note that when, you know, any paint project you're doing, you really want to make sure you start with a clean surface, especially yeah. DIY furniture where you want a nice smooth finish yeah having a clean surface is really important um if you missed the beginning we talked about sanding and how um 
You don't have to sand with this paint, but if it is re recommended if you want the best finish yeah. and the most durable finish. Um, I do not enjoy sanding. Yeah. And I was here <laughs> earlier. Either. Yes, but it, it does pay off if you do a little bit of sanding before you start because it just helps the paint adhere better um, and give you a better finish. Gorgeous. So I'm just playing around now with these doors. Yeah. Kind of blending in that those colors together because they kind of mm -hmm. blend together. Ooh. And I really like, like you said earlier, I really like this gold color with these mm -hmm. colors. It just has that warm pop. Mm -hmm. And that that's what's great about our um, DIY paints is they, they really go well together. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you, they really are just like a one-stop mm -hmm. shop for your mix and match different DIY. styles and blend them together. Yeah. So I might see how it's a little, little bit of area there. I might once that's dry, just go in and touch up with that mm -hmm. tiny brush. Mm -hmm. Just cheat a little bit, so you don't have to remove hardware either. <laughs> <laughs> really pretty. And what I think would be really cool, you know, how you've seen the sides painted or mm -hmm. oh, like yeah. decoupage, that would be really pretty that's on there too. That's a great idea. Well, thank you, Crimson. This is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Um, again, if you're just joining us, this is the Americana Decor Satin Enamels. It's part of our overall Americana Decor collection of DIY paints. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you go to shopdecorart.com today. We just had a big summer sale, go live. Lots and lots of paints are on sale for a limited time while supplies last. And um, make sure you tune in next time. Happy making. Bye.